gorgeous day here in New York, and I just finished an incredible lunch at one of the most iconic Jewish delis serving some of the best pastrami in New York City. I'm talking about the legendary Second Avenue Deli in the Murray Hill area of Midtown Manhattan. Now, I've been wanting to go to this restaurant for a while, but I recently attended a very good exhibition about the history of the Jewish Deli at the New York Historical Society Museum, and they had a small feature about Second Avenue Deli. There were even some old menus from Second Avenue Deli on display, and the prices were much, much cheaper way back when, that's for sure. Overall, the whole exhibit was really good, but my main takeaway was that I really wanted to eat some pastrami. So that's what today was all about, and this was my lunch at Second Avenue Deli. There are currently two locations at Second Avenue Deli, with one on the Upper East Side and the other which was the one I went to on 33rd Street and 3rd Avenue. With a name like Second Avenue Deli, one would think that it would be centered on 2nd Avenue, and in fact, it once was. The original establishment, which opened in 1954 by Abe Liebewald, was located in the East Village on 10th Street and 2nd Avenue, but it closed in 2006 as a result of a dispute with the building's landlord. Fortunately, the revived delicatessen on 33rd Street is as popular now as ever, so much so that there was quite a wait for a table when I arrived, but thankfully there was a seat available at the counter, which proved perfect for me. The restaurant features a very large menu of typical Jewish deli fare, including some very rare dishes like pacha, which are jellied calves feet. Yummy. They also offer some truly epic three-decker sandwiches with large prices to boot, but this time I was there solely for the hot pastrami. After ordering, I was presented with a good-sized bowl of coleslaw, along with two different pickles. I enjoyed the coleslaw. It had great flavor, but wasn't very creamy. As a result, it served as a fantastic and refreshing palate cleanser, especially when I began consuming my pastrami. I was also fond of the two pickles, which both had nice flavor profiles and, of course, are classic pairings with pastrami. And speaking of which, I didn't have to wait long before my sandwich was presented along with a side of onion rings. One thing was for sure, I wasn't going to be leaving this restaurant hungry. I had a hell of a lot of food to eat. I first devoted my attention to the hot pastrami sandwich and it was a beautiful sight indeed. There's a mammoth amount of thinly sliced hot pastrami piled high between two pieces of fresh rye bread. The average person could easily be content with just half of the sandwich, but it's so damn good one would be thankful for all of the delicious food in front of them. I simply loved it. The meat was incredibly flavorful and it easily satisfied my pastrami craving. Second Avenue Deli also has their own mustard and I tried a little on my sandwich. It was good. It's certainly a classic pairing with pastrami, but honestly, the meat itself is so flavorful that it really doesn't need anything else. Regarding the size of the restaurant, they can easily be shared among two to three people. But luckily I was alone, so that meant more food for me. I definitely enjoyed my onion rings. They were a good size and had a decent breading. While I've certainly had better examples of the dish, they nevertheless were a solid and tasty side to pair with my pastrami. Overall, I really enjoyed myself at Second Avenue Deli. The hustle and bustle atmosphere of the establishment gave it such a quintessential New York City feel. Even though it was packed, the service was always on point, and most importantly, my food was absolutely delicious. My lunch was fantastic indeed. Ah, that was so good and very filling too, and uh, not the healthiest lunch either, but a satisfying one indeed. There's no question about it, Second Avenue Deli offers some of the very best pastrami in New York City. But I gotta say, I do prefer the pastrami at, say, Cats or Pastrami Queen just a bit more, and that's solely because of the way they cut the meat. The meat at those two establishments is cut thicker, while at Second Avenue Deli, it's much, much thinner. I feel like the thicker cut makes the meat juicier, and it retains heat just a bit better than Second Avenue Deli. But flavor-wise, Second Avenue Deli is right up there with Cats and Pastrami Queen. It is so, so good. It is truly something special. 
And Second Avenue Deli as a whole is such an iconic restaurant. They offer so many good things. I would love to try a lot more on that menu because it looks pretty damn good. Overall, Second Avenue Deli has been around all these years for a reason. It's truly a legendary establishment, a must eat, and they offer some of the best pastrami in New York City. Today was such a good lunch, and I can't wait to go back to Second Avenue Deli.